Right. Grant to his left in the backfield. Brandon takes the snap back to throw. Has plenty of time. Waits. Now he's going to run with the football. 35. First down and more. He may be gone. Dawkins 40. 35. 30. 25. Gets away from the last man. Five. Touchdown. University of Arizona quarterback Brandon Dawkins has been playing on both real grass and artificial turf his whole football career. It was in a middle school football tournament where he first set foot on an artificial turf field. The good things about playing on turf is no matter whether it rains or anything, uh, if it rains it's not going to get all muddy and it's not like sludge you're having to run through and that just kind of makes it difficult to run uh, no matter what position you play and turf is always, it's always the same so you can run on it no matter the rain or snow, whatever it is. As turf becomes more advanced and more grass-like, athletic programs around southern Arizona are starting to convert to it opposed to real grass. Toby Borgay is a turf expert as well as being the owner of Tucson Turf. Borgay has installed turf at the U of A softball field and the U of A football practice field as well. So what you see when you're looking at the University of Arizona's play field, uh, actually, you see the tips of the blades. So it looks green, so what you're actually seeing are just the tips of the fibers. But the actual playing surface is the infill, and the infill is everything that goes into this blade. So like this blade here is two and a half inches tall, um, so you, you would fill this up about two inches full of infill. And that's a, uh, you know, you can use uh, sand and rubber and you can mix it. With the fall sports season in full swing at South Point Catholic High School, two football teams, three boys soccer teams and three girls soccer teams use the fields daily. South Point was fully driven with the idea that turf was a good option. John Valencia has been working at South Point Catholic High School as the athletic trainer for 15 years and has experienced the benefits of turf. It gives you a better, more even playing surface over time. Because when you go ahead and you have grass in, uh, you get a lot of rain. If you have to play on it, you can tear it up. Amphitheater High School soccer team's playing field has not made the transition to artificial turf. Boys varsity coach Matthew Medina has been a part of soccer for 30 years as a player and a coach and has experienced many soccer fields in his lifetime. The other thing you'll see a lot of passes on artificial turf go way too fast because you'll tap it over and there's no, again, restriction on the ground or the grass that slows the ball down naturally. So it changes the dynamic of the game. You tend to run more and run faster and burn guys out than just on, on grass itself. Esdras Fernandez, a senior midfielder, has been playing soccer since elementary school and did not get to experience turf till high school. It was a lot different from actual grass because the speed of play is a lot faster, uh, a lot more contact and play. The next high school in Tucson projected to have artificial turf is Catalina Foothills. Borgay and Tucson Turf plan to make that happen. Looking at alternative ways to grow grass um, and to water grass or therefore go the artificial route, it's giving you what you want as a playing surface, but you're using the millions and millions of gallons of water that, that are used a year and you're, you're using that for, for things that they should be used for, not to water grass that's not naturally supposed to grow in the desert. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm JB Coronado.